Charles with T-Robot TV. Today we will be shooting clips for an infomercial about can openers. We will be exploring their history at this canning company, the Lyman Canning Company. Today I will be interviewing the founder, Gordon McGreed. Here we go. Oh uh, yes, Belinda, I've been expecting you. It's good nice to meet you. Good evening. Well, Let's go. If you'll follow me downstairs, I'll take you to my office and we can start the interview there. Sounds good. Oh, sorry about all this money, let me get that. What a beautiful family. You all look so picturesque. I know, right? This is my lovely wife, Candace, our, and our two sons, Canthony and Candrew. So, now that I'm here, Mr. McGreed, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your establishment. Why would a man so powerful and rich as you choose to work here? That is a wonderful question, Linda. If you had told me 10 years ago that I'd be CEO of a can opener company, I would have said, no way, Jose, and sued you on the spot. But I am a changed man. I have seen the light, the pure, brilliant light emanating from every can opener. See, Americans often underestimate the importance of the can opener. When Peter Durand came up with the idea of preserving food in cans in 1810, he revolutionized the food preservation industry forever, but he didn't give buyers any way to open those cans, insisting that they use a hammer and a chisel to do it, which worked just about as well as you think it would. Ah! So consumers didn't see the worth of canned food when they had to struggle so hard just to open it. That's when our founder, William Lyman, invented the rotating wheel can opener in 1870. While his design would be improved upon over time, the can opener wouldn't be what it was today without the work of Mr. Lyman. Very interesting. I'm glad you told me. So, Mr. McGreed, why would anyone want to buy your product? Well, unless they want to revert to the good old hammer and chisel method, <laughs> it's kind of their only choice. Besides, the can opener makes the process of opening cans much more easier and efficient. Plus, it's only nine easy payments of $9.99. What a score! Now, we'll watch a worker demonstrate how to use a can opener. Hello, my name is Barney Bourgeois. I'll be teaching you how to use a can opener. So first, you take it, put the serrated edges against the lid, and then you clamp it down, and then you twist, and twist, and twist, until it pops open like that. Now we'll be interviewing actual customers of the can opener. First, we have Miss Doris Dinglebat. Is this thing on, honey? Wow, for the past 60 years, I've been trying to open a single can of Camel soap. And it wasn't until my granddaughter showed me the can opener. It made my life so much easier. Here you go, sweetie. You want a butterscotch? <coughs> 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 Now we have our second interviewee, Miss Stephanie Stegosaurus. It's Stephanie with an E in it and Stegosaurus with a PH. Just for your information. Okay. The can opener. What am I supposed to say again? The can opener changed my life. I just can't stop using it. The can opener changed my life. I can't stop using it. I want to thank you, Mr. McGreed, for letting me take a tour. This has been really nice. I'll have the video back to you within a week. No problem. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> what was that? Uh, nothing. Occupational hazard. I think you should go now. What? I need explanation. Not What's gonna happening? get any. Do you think we got enough footage? We got plenty.